Well, hey guys, welcome to Jay's Brain, and I'm going to show you tear down a T500 and rock on here. Uh, first things first, you know, just rip that sucker apart. I, I like taking the wheel off just because it makes it easier. So, uh, yeah, you just want to get all these screws out of the bottom here. And it's always nice to have something to throw them in. And a little magnetic picker upper. Definitely a power screwdriver is great. That helps a lot. Um, don't really actually need to, or you take these two screws out and then you can pop that back off. Everything goes good. You could actually, you don't even have to take the two screws out, but um, then disconnect everything from the circuit board. Uh, the great thing is everything goes in its own place except for the two paddles. Uh, the two paddle shifters, you can get those backwards, so you kind of want to make note of that. Okay, then you rip those off, unscrew that. Loosen that up so I can get that out of the way because there's other screws down underneath it. And then go to the next piece. Next piece has just a, a small little, uh, yeah, uh, runs all the way around there. And unscrew that other little thing there so you can unclick, slide that out. And some more screws. And again, you always want to take care of that one little piece right there. Okay, now you got that other piece up. All right. Everything's cool. We're almost to the fan. And there's just no room to put there uh, in underneath there. So. that chunk out and then there's your last screw all right so now the fan is free and look at that little tiny piece of shit i mean come on really we're using that Ugh. it's garbage it's just garbage and anytime you guys uh fan is sounding like a aircraft taking off really it's the bearing it's going bad you know bearing or it's a sleeve in there I'm not sure if it's a full bearing drive but either way it's it's trash so next maneuver is cruising along now how we're gonna make this better and make it a fridge pretty much it's gonna end up being it's it's, it's so much colder Ah, now I missed, uh, well, I had to go outside to, uh, to take my solder iron to this, but as you can see, it cut a nice big hole out, a bit, uh, wide open over that 80 millimeter fan. Not just a standard 80, 80 millimeter, so you can get a nice quiet one, or tunable, or whatever you like. The only downside is, yes, you still have to take it apart to replace it, um, so, but this will work great and work for a really, really, really long time. Okay. 
Now for the other interesting little tidbit that you have to, of course, off your old fan. It, yeah, you cut the end off the old fan, and then you plug it. Uh, get down here, and we're gonna be soldering. Or you can uh, butt connect it, but these are very small wires, so I always prefer solder and uh, some heat shrink tubing or electrical tape. And then once all those are soldered and backed up, then just uh, reverse the process, uh, put her all back together. It's never a bad idea to like film yourself because as you're filming yourself, you might, uh, once you get it back together or mostly back together, you start noticing, wait a second, I have a couple extra screws handy and I don't have enough places for them. So uh, it's always good to look, that way you can look back at what you <laughs> did and find that without going all the way completely putting it back together and then having to redo it. So that'll about do it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, like, make sure to follow if you haven't already or subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the show. Have a great one and we'll see you out there.